what you see at the races is a, is a shiny race car. But it would never get there without a, a very detailed level of engineering underneath it. For instance, they'll go 0 to 60 in two and a half seconds. The braking loads are very high. They can pull five and a half, nearly six G under braking. And the top speeds are up around 314 towards 350 kilometers an hour. Well, 3D systems really helps us overcome our, our engineering challenges. It enables us to bring parts to the wind tunnel or to the track much quicker. It opens up the materials we can use uh, and where we can use those parts on the car. The biggest challenge in Formula One is the time scales that we operate to. So we have a yearly cycle of races, 20 races a year. We do a completely new car from one year to the next. It's a big logistics operational challenge. What we're about is pace of development and additive manufacturing brings that to us predominantly in the most critical area of development that, that we can affect and that is aerodynamic development. The car and the model are always evolving daily. Formula One doesn't stay static for very long. We require different components at every track so we have to make them with no tooling involved is, is obviously ideal for us. We currently have six SLA machines and we also have three SLS machines, selective laser sintering, a range of materials from, from rubbers through to carbon filled nylons. It's absolutely invaluable to us to work with a partner like 3D Systems to, to, to develop the technology that they're providing to us, to work in partnership with them to make it more productive, make it more efficient, open up new avenues of development and usage. Uh, and that's been extremely successful over the last 20 or so years. Being able to produce 600 parts in a week with five people is, is quite a unique. We couldn't do that conventionally. We'd need a machine shop the size of a small city. To us, 3D Systems gives us a one-stop shop. We've got the equipment we require to do the job we require. We've got the materials we require to do the job we require. We've got the expertise from the applications engineers to help us along the way. And we've got engineers on the end of the phone providing service instantly. The 3D systems engineers help us with how we're going to produce and use the parts. So they've got the knowledge on you know, what materials we can use, how we design an additive manufactured part. Uh, you know, and then how we can use it on the car. And without that knowledge, we would struggle to get the best out of, uh, out of that type of uh, manufacture.